Hey guys, it's Melody and welcome back to my channel. So I have a very different type of video for you guys today. I did some Baking with Melody videos in the past. I don't even remember the last time I did one, maybe like a year ago. But I have another one for you guys today and this one's really special because it's actually Chrissy Teigen's banana bread recipe. And I don't know if you guys have seen this on Twitter or like Instagram or anything. But one day, Chrissy Teigen, she was baking her cookbook number two called Cravings 2, I think it is. And she didn't have any banana bread or she didn't have any brown bananas. So she actually went on Twitter and she tweeted out, hey, who in the LA area has brown bananas? Because she wanted to make the recipe. And she got a ton of feedback and I think she asked everybody to like, a peace sign with their bananas so a lot of people responded to her and I think her mom actually went out like around LA to pick up bananas it was so funny it was like one of the funniest thing I've seen on Twitter and I can't believe it actually worked but this recipe is actually really simple I waited for my bananas to ripen to become brown for I think like two weeks so that's the only part that took a little while, but I can't wait to eat it and show you guys. By the way, I am filming this while I'm waiting for the banana bread to be cooked, and it seriously smells so good in my house. Like, I can't wait to eat it! But as that's baking in the oven, let's jump into the video, and I'll show you guys how I made it. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this recipe is two cups of mashed bananas, sugar, I'm using coconut sugar, some dark chocolate chips, this is yellow pudding mix, two thirds canola oil, four eggs, one cup of coconut shreds, flour, I'm using almond flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. So the first thing you need is four brown bananas, or not four, but two cups. I have four here, I have more if I need it, but I'm gonna go out with this first. So you need two cups of brown bananas. So this is the cup I'm using. Don't worry that it's dirty. I use stuff for it. We're gonna take this. All right, let's mash this first. My bananas are big, so that's why this might work. This might be one cup. Oh wow, yeah, this is definitely one cup. So now that I know that's one cup, the next two will be two cups. And then we're gonna add the eggs. Two third cup of oil. And then we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. So this is a coconut sugar, two cups, and then two cups of flour, one packet of yellow pudding mix, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And then just mix it all together. I think this bowl is way too small. I need another bowl. Okay, I'm gonna transfer to this bowl because my bowl is way too small. Okay, and then next I'm supposed to put this into this, like dry into wet, but this bowl is way bigger than this bowl, so I'm gonna put it into there. I don't think it really matters, but that's what the instructions was. Okay, and then one cup of coconut. And then half a cup of dark chocolate chips. I also added in a tiny bit of cacao nib, so that's what those little things are. Then just fold it in. And the last step is to take a greased and floured pan, bun pan. You can use two loaves too, but she says a button pan is better. And then we're just gonna pour this in. Oh man, this is so heavy. Okay. This is so hard to do. It's not even centered. 
so hard to do with only one person or one hand. If you guys could smell this, it smells so good. Gotta get every single little last bit of this. And make it even. Okay, and then put this into a preheated or already heated 350 degrees for one hour. Into the oven for one hour. Bye. Oh man, that looks so good. Okay, so she says at 50 minutes, put a toothpick in to see if it's ready or not. So I'm gonna put this, or hold on. Take this out a little. I'm gonna put a toothpick in. And pull it out. Oh yeah, it's pretty much done. I think I'm gonna leave it in for another 10 minutes though because that's how long the rest of the pee is. 60 minutes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Insert this toothpick again. So just let this cool completely and then it's ready. Okay, so I let it cool for about an hour, I think or so, and then you're just gonna wanna take a butter knife and go through the edges. And you also wanna do the inside too, don't forget the inside. And when you're done with that, you wanna flip this onto a pan. So I'm gonna put the camera down so that I can do it. To a plate, I mean. Okay, well that completely failed because I flipped it and it didn't come out all the way. Probably because I needed to use more oil or more flour, I don't know, but it still looks good. So that's okay, it probably tastes good, and I'm gonna take a bite after I cut it. All right, it is done baking in the oven and I let it cool and everything, and here it is. I'm so excited, it smells so good. But as you guys saw from the previous clip, not all of it came out. I don't know what happened. I think I should have used more oil or more flour or something but it's still really, okay, I don't wanna say moist, but it's a very moist, I hate that word. Let's give it a taste test. Like, look at this. It smells so good. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. It's so good. Oh my gosh, okay. This is so bomb. I wish it was a little bit more crisp. Mmm, it's so good. But maybe that's my fault. I don't know, it's so good though. I just wanna like eat all this. But maybe I should have let it cool more or put it into the oven a little longer. I don't know. But you guys should definitely try this recipe out. If you guys do and it turns out better than mine, then let me know. But it's so good. Like I don't even know what else to say about it. I just wanna keep eating this. If you guys don't like coconut, like, you can take it out, but I think the coconut makes it delicious. Wait, I'm literally just eating this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely try it and don't make the same mistake as I did of not putting enough flour or oil on the bundt pan. And also, I think you should get like a bigger plate. Like look at this tiny little plate that I put this on. I think that's what also messed it up because right here, I don't know if you can tell, it kind of came apart because my plate, it dips in a little bit. Regardless, this is so good. And I can't wait to share it with my family. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this Baking with Melody. And I hope to be back with some more baking stuff because I love baking. So if I do, I will record it for you guys. Thanks again for watching. And I'm gonna go eat this. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.